Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. Friends, we are gifted with many things by the nature. Some may know about the value of the nature and some may not. I think I could able to share the medicinal values of such a wonderful gift. In this series, today's video is about a simple weed which is more valuable for our life. That is Tridex daisy. Scientific name Tridex procumbens. Family Astraceae. Order Astrales. Kingdom Plantae. Tridex procumbens is a widely spread hispid procumbent herb, usually found as a weed. It is commonly called as Tridex daisy and coat buttons. It can be grown in sunny, dry, and wastelands. It is an annual creeper herb with stem 30 to 50 cm height. Leaves are simple opposite fleshy and ovate shape with 3 to 7 cm. Flowers are tubular in nature yellow in color with hair having capitulum inflorescences. Fruits are hard again covered with sniff hairs and having feathery plume-like white puppies at one end, which helps in aerial dispersal. The heads are heterogeneous, have long peduncle up to height 2 feet. The plant is rich in minerals such as iron, copper, manganese, sodium and zinc. It is an antioxidant herb. Medicinal Uses The leaf extract is commonly used in Indian traditional medicine and directly applied on the open wound to stop bleeding and enhance the healing process. Traditionally, Tridex procumbens has been in use in India for wound healing and as an anti antifungal and insect repellent. This herb is the medicinal value for dysentery, diarrhea and gastrointestinal disorders of bacterial infections and prevents falling of hair, promotes the growth of hair and antimicrobial activity against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Traditional medicine is an important source nearly thousands of years ago Nature has been a source of an impressive number of modern drugs. So, my dear friends, let us recall our ancient and traditional method of medicines in our daily life to avoid harmful diseases which affect our healthy life. Save nature, save life. Signing off, the Thank you for watching.